Larry, was this a lapse in judgment or was this more of what you say when you say some celebrities, you want them to have a voice, but if they're going to have a voice, they need to do their research. I think we've got a little bit of that going on because check this out. So Reebok was doing a new ad campaign and they used the homegirl Cardi B. Now, Cardi B got backlash from this because in this ad, she's supposed to be some Hindu goddess. But the Hindu people, Larry, they was highly offended by that. And listen, look at what some of them had to say. People are saying Cardi B is paying homage to our Hindu goddess Durga. So as a Hindu, I want to say that wearing a shoe in a temple is prohibited. Durga May is not to be used as an aesthetic. Durga May is never depicted bare body. This is not homage. This is disrespect. And you can see the other comments down there. Now, to Cardi B's um, respect, she did come back and apologize, Larry, and said that she should have informed herself. What do you think about that situation? No, I think that if, if, if she came out and apologized and said that she shouldn't have done it and she should have informed herself, as long as they pull the ad, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with the apology. I think that I think there's a lot of stuff that people do and have done that is culturally insensitive and a cultural appropriation. And we've done it so much that it seems like it's just normal and part of just the regular American lexicon when it's not. I mean, you know, it's just for a long time, people joked about Native Americans and people would run up and do the whole, you know, the whole hand on their thing, like they're making the chanting noise and say how and all that stuff. And it was just completely insulting and inappropriate. And, you know, the whole thing about people wearing, you know, the whole Indian chief feathered, you know, hat thing, all that stuff was just cultural appropriation and inappropriate. And I think that as we, I think as a society, as we move away from more of the typical white male dominated society and we become more of a true melting pot as America is supposed to be, we have to learn, we have to learn to, appreciate other people's cultures and not degrade them or not appropriate them for our commercial needs. And I think it's going to just, there's going to be some growing pains in that process, you know, but yeah. I think what's more important is like you said, if she apologized for it and said she should have educated herself, as long as they pulled the ads down, I'm okay with the fact that she made a mistake as long as she doesn't do it again. Well, I'm okay with well, the fact that she did it the same way. I'm She's okay going to make with... more mistakes. I'm, I'm okay with the fact that she made a mistake, but I'm not okay with Reebok. They're supposed to know better. Now, Reebok is a, is a stock-traded, big-ass company. And I'm not, I'm, not absor I'm, I'm not fully absorbing Cardi B of her culpability, but I am very thankful that not only did she apologize, Larry, but she said she was wrong because she didn't understand the culture and she should have educated herself. All right. I'm I'm with that. But Reebok, whoever greenlit this, you got to know better. You could lose customers over this message you just pulled right here. And it'd be one thing if Reebok informed Cardi B, well, this is not going to be the correct likeness of this goddess. And we still want you to do it. But they didn't do that. From what I'm reading, Reebok just, somebody in Reebok just greenlit it and said, hey, run with it and go for it. Now it looks like Reebok is... Either they're going to have to come back and make a new, more sensitive depiction, maybe use Cardi B in that light, or they're just going to have to pull the ad and lose revenue. So, you know, for as much know. as people want, for as much as they want to get mad at Cardi, I also think you've got to give Reebok some culpability and maybe they should be coming out saying, we're sorry, we was insensitive, we didn't know, we might should have talked to someone from the Hindu um, delegation or representation, whatever, so that we could have made a better depiction of your goddess. Because Larry, think about it like this. What if a shoe company decided they want to sell Jesus Christ shoes and they made him a redhead and they depict him? I don't know. I don't think Jesus wore shoes, did he? I think he just walked barefoot and they depicted him something he totally was not. You know how many Christians would be trying to burn down whatever company done that in this country? Yeah. I mean, imagine if they tried to come out, imagine if they tried to come out with a hiking boot called the Tubman's, you know? Yeah. 
I mean, but, people would be pissed off. And they'd be like, that's the most straight up some bull and you can't do that. I, I think that, I think that, like you said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna absolve Cardi B completely because she is at this point an extremely successful and savvy marketer. I mean, she made much of who she is today because of her ability to market herself and brand herself. And when you when you do that, you are responsible to your audience and to your brand, and you have to make sure that you protect that. And some of that might just be doing a little bit of research. Like you might have to have somebody on your team that you can turn to and say, does anything about this look crazy? Like, does anything right. about this look like it's not kosher? Is anybody going to be offended by this? And, and then, and have someone that's willing to say, yeah, there's going to be some people offended by this, or, you know, and not be afraid to push back instead of, you don't want a bunch of yes men around you. Otherwise you end up with a situation like this, mm -hmm. because if, I mean, if I was on that team, I would have simply have said, look, you can you can't do this, but you can do like the what's it called the Vitrovian man, the dude that Da Vinci, I think it was Da Vinci that did it, where you have the guy with all the different arms. I don't think there's any cultural appropriation there, you know. No, no. I mean it's, you... a, it's a scientific drawing. I think that you could have used that in a very artistic and creative way to get across some a similar message. Well, at the end of the day, with any any situation like this, you should go to the representatives of those um, group of people, like the Washington Redskins. Indians, excuse me, Native Americans for the longest time have said you mean Redskins, the Washington football team. Redskins is derogatory. It's but you very mean the derogatory. Now. Well, I'm, I'm about to get to that if you give me a second. <laughs> they have said that it's very derogatory, and for the longest time they wanted it down. They wanted the name to be changed to something else. Because if you right. don't know, red skin basically is a bleeding to death Native American. That's where the term red skin comes from. And they it's didn't like want that. It's like calling a black person the N-word. To them, yes. Yeah. And, and it took Black Lives Matter, George Floyd, and an uprising just to get this for Native Americans who had a plight with America before we even got here. And if you're going to do something like this that's supposed to be representative of a culture check with the culture check you know i don't know reebok's got a ton of money <laughs> go check with the culture have your team do their research reebok need to apologize to simple as that i'll say this that that anytime anytime you're using someone else's religion or religious iconography mm -hmm. to promote a commercial you know a commercial product it, it usually doesn't go well. It's just no one wants to see their religion, you know, you know, commercialized like that. And and I mean, could I can tell you for a fact that Reebok would not have come out with an ad. And I'm I can tell you for a fact Cardi B would not have come out with an ad where they were made her up looking like Muhammad and came out with the with the Reebok Muhammads or the or something to that effect, because Reebok's offices would have gotten would have gotten, you know threatened overnight and they would have said if anybody's uh, caught wearing these shoes in the street they're going to be a target for you know for violence and they would have been and people would have been like oh you can't do that you can't hurt me because of my shoes and people would have been like okay wear them and find out you know because yeah. they know yeah. they know and, and i think that i think that that there are certain groups where people just are allowed to take leeway and because other you know because they're not they don't have a long history of going after people that that use their religious iconography in that way. But I think now that we're in a in a climate where people are being more sensitive to it, you just it just it's not a good look. It's just simply not a good look. 